and it just, ah, it like restored the ends of my hair. Hello beautifuls! Today I'll be reviewing the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum and I'll also be showing you guys how I use it. So if you would like to see, just keep watching. I was gonna say please just keep watching. So if I looked weird when I said that, that's why. Anyways, let's get into the video. I was first introduced to the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum many years ago. This product was such a game changer. I had been wanting to use oils on my hair without it like weighing it down or actually making it feel oily. And what I found is that with most of the oils that I was using are just a lot of hair care products that were meant to like defrizz the hair and make it feel silky and smoother. Most of them would either weigh down my hair, make it feel too oily, or just completely soak into my hair to the point that I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel any difference or anything like that. It wasn't until I tried the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum where I was able to achieve the effect that I wanted. I was able to use this product and not have it weigh down my hair. It didn't make my hair feel oily. It gave me the shine. It gave me the silkiness. It pretty much restored my hair. And that is when I fell in love with the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. And then after a while, I think it's just because my hair started to get healthier. I found that I didn't benefit Whoa. I found that I didn't benefit as much with the Super Skinny Serum. Every time I would put it into my hair, I honestly, I wouldn't notice anything. So eventually I stopped using it. And again, I think that's just because my hair got into a much better state. I was using a lot of like hair mask. I was using apple cider vinegar and olive oil, which are really good for your hair and just kind of restore it and bring it back to life and put a lot of moisture back into your hair so the Paul Mitchell super skinny serum just stopped working every time I would put it on my hair I wouldn't notice much of a difference so I just stopped using it it wasn't until I recently dyed my hair that I brought this back into my life right after I dyed my hair my hair especially the ends of it were so brittle and so dry it got to the point where i would literally hear my hair snap so i ended up googling like how to prevent your hair from splitting most of the suggestions were to use oils different types of oils so i just went to my cabinet and got all the oils that i had on hand i was using jojoba oil and vitamin e oil and sometimes i was putting in like extra oils like rose oil i think it's called and those helped they definitely helped but for one i had to use like all of those oils i had to use like three to four different oils and then i had to use a lot and even then i would find that like maybe throughout the day i would have to reapply it and definitely the next day i would have to reapply it and then i remembered i had paul mitchell super skinny serum i was a little hesitant to try it because i'm like if i'm using all these oils and they're not working as well then why would the paul mitchell work but i just decided to give it a shot and lo and behold that was the game changer and Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum came through once again. It just completely restored it. I didn't have to use as much as like all the oils. I didn't have to use as much in comparison and it just ah, it like restored the ends of my hair. And yeah, that's how I got like reintroduced to the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. When I first started using it, I was using it like a little bit because when my hair was in a healthier state, I'd have to use the tiniest amount, like literally half a pea size and spread it through my hair because if I used any more, it would definitely weigh it down and make it feel like oily and greasy. And that's one reason. That's another reason why I stopped using it is because it was just, it was very finicky. Like I had to use the tiniest amount and if I went a little bit overboard, my hair would feel the oiliness. So that's one another reason why I just like stopped using it. But now, because my hair is like super dry and brittle, I could use so much of it and I had to remind myself Keisha, use a lot because your hair needs it. And I use a bunch and my hair just loves it. Uh, doesn't feel weighed down at all. And the ends feel nice and soft. When I first got my hair dyed, obviously that was the worst condition that it was in. And I would find myself going back in midday. So basically I would use it two times in a day on my hair. And then obviously I would use it the next day. 
But now that it's been about a month or two, I would say about two months of my hair being dyed, um, I find that I only need to use it once. Also in combination with the shampoo that I'm using, I am using a Matrix shampoo. So with the Matrix shampoo and this, I find that I only need to use it once until I'm ready to wash my hair again. And sometimes I feel like I don't even need it. My hair has definitely improved. The ends are a lot less brittle. I forgot to mention I also use It's a 10 leave-in conditioner. So I think all of those in combination are definitely just like restoring my hair. So if you want to see a video on how I restored my hair after dyeing it, let me know down in the comments below. All of those in combination have just restored my hair to the point that I honestly don't need this as much as I did before. I just kind of put it on to protect my hair and keep it healthy to maintain um, the health of it. This isn't restoring my hair to like a hundred percent but if I had to put a percentage on how well this restored my hair and got rid of the brittle dry feeling it would be like 95%. Now I just want to go into a few more reasons why I love this product. First of all it smells so yummy. <laughs> it smells like like a very slight hint of green apples and it's genuinely a product where it doesn't just smell good but like when you put it on your hair it makes it smell better so especially if you are someone who puts a lot of heat on their hair if you put this on after it will kind of like mask it a little bit and smell fresh and yummy it doesn't feel annoyingly greasy like other oils it does have like a silicone base I have heard some people say oh it's like not that effective or like something I don't know but it's it's been amazing for my hair and the silicone feel it doesn't it's not like pure just greasy it's it's it has a nice Feel. It's hard to ex explain. It just feels like silicone. And also it absorbs very nicely into the skin. Like other oils, they just kind of sit there. But this one, it just like absorbs, it dries down, and then boom, you don't feel it anymore. It's also very well priced. I first started off with like a little small travel size and I swear that bottle lasted me like six months. This, I believe, is like the middle version, and then they have an even, an even bigger size, which obviously that one's more expensive, and I don't feel like it's necessary. I would just rather get the travel size because it's genuinely all I need. You only need the tiny, tiny, tiniest amount, so it ends up going a long way. I think if I had to do it all over again, I would just get the travel size, and that would probably last me like a full year. This one I've had for so many years that I feel like maybe the product is degrading a little bit so yeah in the future I would just get the small little travel size if you are using this in combination with other products that will add moisture back into your hair like a hair mask if you're doing weekly like hot oil treatments then you're not gonna have to continue using this product your hair will eventually become in a state where it's much healthier and moisturized so either you'll have to use very little amount of this or like in my situation you just won't even need to use it anymore it is good to use if you want to maintain the health um but even then you have to use a very very tiny amount like when your hair is in good condition and you just want to maintain the health of your hair you will have to use a very 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 tiny amount now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i use this product when my hair is really dry i use a generous amount of this stuff like right now for example i could put like Two full pumps in my hair and uh, it won't be weighed down but like I said when my hair is healthy I need the tiniest size like probably half a piece size and then I just run it through my hair when my hair is dried after it's styled I'll apply it onto my hair and then if I need it I will put some on throughout the day when I first dyed my hair within like the first month or two I was reapplying it about twice to three times a day but now I only need to use it once and sometimes like I said I don't even use it after I style my hair. If you guys want to know what I thought about this product when I first started trying it, which was years ago, I'll make sure to leave my older video down below for you guys to see. It's a little cringy for me to watch, but if you want to check it out and you want like more testimonials on this product, just feel free to check down in the description box below. But as for now, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel to see more content like this in the future. I hope to see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.